Hi guys, it's Maddie and Madison with Spectrum Art. She said, what? Hi. Hi. Um, wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the entries that we have for the upcoming Piano Roll Challenge. We have made these really cute, um, tiny little envelopes using our Piano Roll paper. And you know, sometimes it's that, it's the materials that we use that make all the difference. Um, in the projects that we uh, that turn out right so in this case we went ahead and used two really great items uh, to make a really cute project the first item we use of course was our piano roll paper um, and this roll happened to me from the 1920s and uh, so we're talking about a hundred year old paper how can you not right love that and then the other item that we use is we went ahead and used some uh, digital images from Farm Mirage, which I'll go ahead and link below. If you wanna see how to do these from beginning to end, we actually made them during a live uh, and we shared uh, what we had done, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I will link that as well down below. Uh, and that way you can, if you wanna go ahead and follow step by step, uh, you can go ahead and rewatch that video. But um, going back to what I was saying, we went ahead and used uh, the piano roll, and we got these adorable images uh, from Etsy, from Farm Mirage, and she also has a website as well. Um, and you actually get 40 ATC size images. I mean, look at these. It's everything from uh, the flowers to angels to uh, postcards to, I mean, just really great images. But I took these, I shrunk them down, and I went ahead and tore them. I didn't even cut them. I actually just tore them around the edges to make them look all nice and distressed. And then I took my distressing tool and went around them. So, uh, and I still have a whole bunch left over. Look at that. So in addition to that, um, we went ahead and used the piano roll paper and we made some in uh, light blue. Well, we'll make different colors and I'll show you. I'll show you what they look like. And I left plenty of ribbon left. I know it's kind of long, but I left it that way because I wasn't sure we were gonna wanna do some charms or perhaps a different closure. And I'll show you what I mean by that. This one is just, you know, again, this is the back, this is the front, and it is closed just like this, right? However, this one, we kind of made a window out of it and we, you know, double tied it. So again, the ribbon is sufficient to do this type of closure or to do this type of closure, or to even go ahead and add charms if we wanted to. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and look at one of these. This is what they look like. They have the gorgeous piano roll paper, and then in the back, and you can see the little slits on there where the piano uh, would play the music, right? And the cool thing is since we used our book pages, to line them up on the inside, then we ended up with the ability to see the words kind of peeking through, you know, oh, 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 I'm on camera, sorry. You can see the words kind of peeking through here and there, which just adds another great element. And of course, the original words that were on these is just so great. It looks like we actually stamped it, but it's not. It's part of the piano rule, right? Um, and so again, you'll be able to see uh, what these look like. Uh, and how we got these all done. If you click on the video down below. So we did some blue, light blue. And all we did was we just basically picked up on the colors that were on the images, you know. So we figured these would be blue. These we did in black. Oh, look at how cute this one is. I love the black too. It looks so elegant, doesn't it? Did I just make a knot? I think I did. Oh, well, I'll fix it later. But anyway, it looks like that. Look at that image. So cute. Um, we did some green. Totally cute. I mean, who wouldn't want to add those to a journal, right? And that's another green one. And then we did some pink. Again, picking up on those pink elements that we saw in the images, right? But they're so romantic and so shabby and just delicious paper. And there's your pink. And then we did some, this is another one of the light blues. We did purples. We did plenty of them, didn't we? And we still have all those images left. Can you believe that? And again, we just picked up on the purple that was in the flowers. Look at that gorgeous purple flower, huh? And here are the backs. I love how you can see the words coming through. 
and then we finally we did some brows and so once we were done with these uh, and we absolutely love the size love the feel I mean it's just like an onion paper it feels so wonderful once we were done with these we decided you know what we're gonna go ahead and make some more because the idea is just great so guess what I've been doing I've been cutting more of the piano roll paper oops upside down so these are the ones that I have got cut so far don't you love that look at the words on there oh and just and um we're possibly going to go ahead and make a whole lot more because look i actually took the entire roll and i just cut the whole roll down so i can actually make this many more because what i figured is we're going to have them ready to go and when we need to, when we're going to go ahead and work on whatever project, whatever journal, whatever holiday, occasion, theme, then we'll just be able to grab a blank little envelope and be able to attach our brad um, and whatever ribbon we want, whatever color or different closure, if that's the case, or no closure if you don't want a closure at all. And, and then just work with whatever images it is that we actually have. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you will actually go ahead and make sure that you get entered into that challenge. Uh, and I'll put the, um, of course, the hashtag will be on the title of this um, video because you do need to hashtag it in order for it to count as an entry. And then Kateri is going to be uh, having a phenomenal, I'm just going to give you the inside scoop. She's going to be having a very nice, very generous um, challenge. No, uh, giveaway. Okay. Uh, she's going to be uh, putting out the parameters and, you know, what all is going to entail. Um, there is a video also that I had done explaining the challenge. I'll link that below so you guys will have plenty of links to go check out not only the images, but the piano roll challenge um, and how to go ahead and make these envelopes if you want to make some. And, and again, remember, all you have to do is make something utilizing your piano rolls to be entered into the upcoming challenge. So we hope that you do. All right, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. It's just a very quick video. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, here's what we've done so far and we've got more piano roll projects coming your way. Thanks so much for joining us. We will see you all soon. Bye, blessings.